Welcome to DIY Solar Homestead. So I'm out here preparing. I'm gonna go look at that house in another hour or two. We got the aerator over here. I pulled up a lot of plants. Got them in pots, got them ready. They're on the front porch. So I got tomatoes and stuff that's just not ready for the freeze. But I'm lucky that the frost that we got the other day, it didn't take out the garden because of, I'm guessing, the leaves and the branches, the trees. So yeah, there's still a, a pepper here and there. That one's wilted. But the tomatoes are still green and they're ready soon. Still getting some good tomatoes off here. There's one. I'm going to take that now. Wipe it off. And yeah, I want to get some of these out of here. This has just started bearing fruit. It's a nice one right there. So, maters aren't ready. They got to go indoors. <clears throat> Might even keep this. I got to check this for seeds. I want that, I want that purple basil. The cabbage. With the kale. But I don't know enough about cauliflower yet. Now I got a couple plants out of here. That's what some people are saying that is. So where's the white head at? So I have a lot more to learn as I prepare to move out to the country. With the celery. I want to save it too. I want to get that indoors. Oh, look at there. There's a pepper. Yeah. That just grew in the last couple days. Now, I forget what it is. The, the temperature that they stopped growing, I think it's 42, something like that. I got the tent heater out, got it warmed up. I lit it in the basement a couple times last winter and it stank bad. So I figured I get it hot right now, I get the paint cooked off or what have you and the oils of the metal and uh, I got some double line smoke stack to hook that in for emergencies only because I'm quite sure that's not legal but and, and, and if I if the power goes out and I only have solar power I'm gonna want heat now I do have a propane heater maybe a couple tanks uh, I do want to, on payday, I do want to get another tank or two. So, uh, we missed the six polar vertexes this last year, and if this year if we get them all. <laughs> we just missed this last one because a gush of hot air came out of the Gulf and pushed it back north. So, <laughs> we got a, a bomb cyclone, but we didn't get the polar vertex. Thank goodness, because the plants, I wouldn't have been able to harvest anything. I think I got almost eight, ten pots. Some of them got one plant, some of them got four or five, like the Swiss chard. I was able to get like four or five of those in, in a pot. I'm going to eat it now, because they're usually pretty sweet. Yum. So when I get out of the country, get out to the country, hopefully I like this house. It's a nice small farm. And I know it's going to take three years to build it up. The garden, the fruit trees, the nut trees, three to five probably, to turn it into a real farm. Uh, and hopefully the lady will let me get my chickens back, <laughs> or some chickens if not the same ones. So, that'll be cool. This place has a hen house, but I got another 10 or 12 larger pots for the garden, and I'm gonna start digging. Just short and sweet, give you an update. And uh, I'm gonna turn that uh, inverter on today. We got it all figured out. I don't know why I waited two months. But we do what we do. 
But now I'm kick started. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go look at this little farm, turn on the solar, get just batteries down to the basement. So if you want to learn more about solar, go see Southern Ohio Solar Homestead. It's got a lot of amazing videos with the solar to include the Tesla batteries because he's pretty smart. All right, I'm out. You have a nice, wonderful day.